Hi there, I'm Kiara and I'm representing the Sephora and Towson Mall in Maryland. Today I created this pink smoky eye and if you would like to see how I created this look, please continue to watch. So my complexion is already complete and I'm gonna move right on to the pink smoky eye. So first I'm gonna take the Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizer Eye and Lip Primer. I'm gonna start by taking a small amount on my fingers and I'm gonna lightly blend that onto my eyelid. I'm gonna work that all the way up into my eyebrow bone. Now what's great about this eyeshadow primer, it allows whatever color you have in your pan to transfer beautifully onto the eye. For eyeshadow, I'm going to be using the Sephora Collection Sephora Pro Editorial Palette. The first shade that I'm going to be using is the shade Tila, and I'm going to concentrate this shade in my crease. The brush that I'm using is the number 27 Sephora Collection brush. I'm going to use a mixture of windshield wiper movements and circular motion movements. This is gonna allow your eyeshadow to be blown out. And then I'm just gonna repeat the same steps on the other eye, just focusing on the crease and again, doing that windshield wiper motion and circular motions. So I go back and forth between each eye just until I get the perfect saturation of color. So now I'm gonna take the Violet Voss Fun Sized Mini Eyeshadow Palette in Berry Burst. And I'm gonna be using this matte bright pink shade. I'm gonna put this shade on the inner and outer corners of my eye. And I'm gonna be using the number 86 Sephora Collection Brush. This brush is gonna allow me to get the perfect placement of color. I'm also going to swipe this shade directly on my lower lash line. This is going to give me more of a cohesive look. And now I'm going to just repeat the same steps on the other side, starting with the outer corner, the inner corner, and then the lower lash line. Now I'm going to go back in with the number 27 from the Sephora collection, just to make sure everything is blended. So once I feel that it's all blended, I'm going to go in with my finger, and I'm going to pick up the shade Rose Quartz, and I'm going to put that directly in the center of my eye, giving kind of a halo effect. So I pat the color onto my eyelid to get the color payoff that I like and then I use sweeping motions just to blend it out. So I'm just going to go in and do the same thing on the other eye but I just want to point out your finger allows you to press the product onto your eyelid and you can use a sweeping motion to kind of blend it out. You get the most product payoff using that technique. I'm going to lightly dust away any fallout that I see. So now I'm going to go back in with that matte bright pink shade from the Berry Burst palette and I'm going to just lightly diffuse out the Rose Quartz shade from the Sephora Pro Editorial palette and this is just going to give me a soft halo eye and I was using my number 86 Sephora collection brush. For the inner corners of my eyes I'm going to use the Rose Quartz shade and I'm going to use the number 15 brush for that and then I'm going to go in with my number 27 brush and just diffuse that shade out. Now I'm going to be taking the Milk Makeup Kush High Volume Mascara. And what's great about this mascara is that it has heart-shaped fibers inside of it. So it's really going to elongate your lashes and make them appear fuller. This is also going to help my false lashes that I'll be applying later have something to adhere to. And I also do a coat on my bottom lashes. Now I'm going to take my Huda Beauty Claudia Number no. 6 Lashes. I'm going to lightly bend them so they can go along with the curve of my eye. I'm going to measure them and trim them as well. So now I'm going to apply my lash glue and I'm just going to wait for it to dry. You want to let the glue dry just so it's tacky. Now the best piece of advice I can give when applying lashes is to make sure you look down into a mirror. That way you see your full lash line and it'll just go on like a dream. So I'm going to look down into my mirror and I'm going to start from the center of my lashes and I'm going to lightly press on the outer and inner corners of my eyelash. Pressing them together just secures your lash. So now just to hide that lash band, we're going to go in with the Fenty Beauty by Rihanna Fly Liner Longwear Liquid Eyeliner in black. And for this step, I like to look down into a mirror and kind of glide the pencil along the lash line. And this will help conceal the band and any gaps that you have between your lashes. So now I'm gonna take the Marc Jacobs Beauty Air Blush Soft Glow Duo in Lush and Libido, and I'm gonna use my number 59 brush to pick up a generous amount and lightly dust that on the apples of my cheeks, working in a backward motion towards the temples. To finish off this look, I'm gonna go in with the Pat McGrath Labs Lust Lip Gloss in Divine Rose, and this is a moisturizing, hydrating lip gloss. This shade will really finish your look off, just giving you 
you the slightest hint of pink because we're gonna let the eyes do all the talking. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know the steps you take to get the perfect smoky eye down in the comment section below. Bye-bye.